the front. See? Oop, feet are stuck. Want some help? This Christmas and New Year's, Malaya, my niece, came with her mom and dad to visit. And she's only two years and three months old. But she just realized on this visit that I didn't have arms and hands. She said something to her parents like, Oh, Auntie has her arms in her shirt <laughs> covered. And so she didn't re recognize that I didn't have arms and hands. It was her first uh, moment of discovery. And I started to explain to her while we were playing that I was born without arms and hands and that everyone's different. So it's so important as a child to understand that everyone is different and that we all come in different shapes and sizes and different colors. And it's just something that children have to recognize because once they go on a playground where there are a lot of different kids, sometimes they will notice differences and it's important to be inclusive. So it was very important for Malaya to understand that. And she and I had some special time on her trip over here to Arizona. I'm so worried about getting hit. I remember how excited I was when I figured out how to swing on my tummy because I felt like I was all the, like the other kids. But there was once, oh, one time when a teacher came up to me, she was so worried that I was gonna fall and hurt myself. But we're supposed to fall and hurt ourselves as kids. It's a way of learning. It's a way of discovering our world. Hopefully they don't break their neck in the process. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I did when I was a kid. So Malai's gonna try it to show me. How do you do it? Okay. That's it. You do it better than me. Yay! Malaya did it! Okay, my legs are too long now. Slide with me now? Okay, let's do it. Put your feet out like me. Like this? Yeah. You got it? I'm gonna let you go ahead first. One, count to three. One, two, three. Okay, 